Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm really excited to introduce my next seasonal project pan. I will be doing a Finish 8 by Easter. I know it doesn't like rhyme as nicely as some of my other ones have, but you know what? I, th I think it was the good choice. I have eight products that I want to make some progress on by Easter, which is April 21st. <laughs> For those of us that are not real super religious and have no idea what dates are thing, I had to Google it. It's April 21st. <laughs> so before we jump into this introduction, don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like these seasonal project pans. And if you haven't and you'd like to, I hope you will consider subscribing so that you're notified whenever I post a new video every single Monday through Friday. All right, so I have eight products here. I my goal for this isn't to finish each one up completely. I have goals for each product. So let's jump into that right away with my first product, a primer. And this is the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. So I just hit pan on this just like yesterday. So my goal for this one is actually to use it up. I have from now until April 21st to use this up and I, I'm pretty sure with if I use it every day, this will be one of the first products that I completely finish up. So this is where I am at currently. You can see I've hit pan in a couple of different places. The next product that I wanna work on is a foundation. This is a foundation I'm very on the fence about. This is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation and I have the shade Porcelain. I've had this foundation for quite some time. I've tested it out and I'm really torn because sometimes I wear it and it looks horrible and doesn't wear well and sometimes I wear it and it looks gorgeous and it's full coverage and it's beautiful. I What I want to get out of this project is just to solidify my feelings on this foundation. I want to commit to this foundation, try it with some different primers, try it with different powders, concealers, just focus on this foundation because I haven't been this confused about a foundation in quite some time and I, I just need to put in the time and the effort to solidify my feelings on it. Next I have two concealers that I want to use. So the first concealer that I want to use up is a smaller sample size concealer and this is from Urban Decay. This is a little mini of their Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Light Neutral. This is already halfway gone and I can see I'm already kind of scraping the sides of the bottle right here. So my goal is to completely use this up because I can use this under my eyes, I can use this to spot conceal, and I think I shouldn't have any trouble going through this little concealer. The next concealer that I want to completely use up by April 21st, it's going to be a little bit more of a challenge because I hate the way it looks under my eyes, so I have to use it for other things. And that is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Medium Honey. This is still fairly new. Like I can't scrape the sides and really see anything. I, there's still a good amount of product in here. And what I really wanna use this for is eye primer. I've always seen people use this as eye primer and as like to cut the crease and everything and I've never tried it like that. Well, I experimented with this and tried it as an eye primer and I like it. It's actually a pretty good eye primer. Uh, I'm still very blah about Tarte since their whole foundation fiasco. I bought this right before the foundation came out, so I've been looking for a way just to use it up, just to get it out of my collection, and I finally found that way, I think. So I will be using this to spot conceal and to prime for my eyeshadow every day until this is gone. The next product that I would like to use up by the end of this project is from Milani, and this is the Milani Translucent Light to Medium oil absorbing loose powder and this is the make it last powder in just the shade translucent it's still fairly new i've used this quite a few times but there's a lot of product in here and it's getting kind of everywhere so since i do use loose powder every day and i do set my under eyes and set the rest of my face every day i do want to see how much of this product i can use by the end of this project Ideally, I would like to finish this up. Next, I have two face powders that I would like to use up by the end of this project. And the first one is right here in the Z palette. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in the shade 001 Transparent. I do have a decent amount of pan on this already, and so I don't think it would be too much of a stretch to think I could use this up by the end of this project. 
The next face powder that I really want to use up is this one right here. And this is actually a single powder from my Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette, which is part of my Nine Pan 19 project that I introduced a little while ago. If you missed that, I'll throw it up in the cards. But I did just pot these two shades right here, as well as these. This is going to be like my go-to everyday palette. So I do have two of the contour shades from that palette and then two of the face powders right up here. So since I have so much pan on this one right here, I would like to completely finish it up by the end of this project and then the powder down here since they're the same shade I would like to see if I could hit pan on this one as well So here's just a close-up of those shadows right here in my Z palette Alright, and the last product that I'm including in this project is a highlighter now I know I'm not gonna be able to finish this highlighter at all during this project my goal for this highlighter is to hit pan and this is one of my favorite highlighters of all time. This is the Becca Royal Glow Shimmering Skin Perfector. This is like my favorite highlighter. I wear it almost every day and I think I could probably hit pan right up here on the top where I've been focusing my brush. This is the perfect everyday highlighter. It's also great if you want to get more of a glow. You can make this very, very blinding and stunning. Splinding. Splinding. You can make this very splinding if you build it up, but you can also wear this every day. This is very work appropriate as well. So my goal is just to hit pan right up here at the top by the end of this project. So those are all eight of the products that I want to make progress on by Easter, April 21st. So thank you so much for watching this intro. I will be doing updates. I don't want to do updates once a month. I'll do updates whenever I feel like I need to do an update for these products, so probably every couple of weeks or so. Thank you again for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.